Hello, uh, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is December 28th of 2019. And before long, this year is going to be over, and it's, we're going to be going into 2020. I'm 78 years old. I'll be 79 in March of uh, 2020. A uh, little update. I uh, thought of a idea for a short little YouTube video. I haven't done it yet, and this isn't it. It's just something I'm interested in. I'm not going to mention it yet because I want to put it together and then, you know, surprise you with it. Uh, in the past, I have, well, I remember when, you know, when I was a kid and uh, television was announced and my parents and I, one of the few times I went someplace with my parents, uh, we went to Municipal Auditorium and we saw television sets. There was no TV station, no WDAF hadn't signed on yet, no TV station in Kansas City, Missouri, but they had, I'm not sure how they did it. That was, I, they didn't have videotape recorders then. Uh, I don't know how they did, but you could see television. You know, of course they were feeding something into it. But so my my parents bought a television set and we had it sitting there, uh, waiting for the for WDAF TV to channel four to begin broadcasting, and then the when they finally began, it was like at, I don't know, 7 or 8 p.m. or something, one hour for the first time, I'm not sure, a week or two weeks, and it was like a travel log or something, and we'd wait and watch it. But So I was around for the early days of television. Uh, and there was a, you know how politically correct, you know, people are demanding that, we, you know, we be now that you have to watch what words you use, you have to watch what you call somebody, you, you know, all this type of stuff, and but believe me, I'm a liberal, I'm very liberal, so I don't have a problem with it, I'm not complaining about it, I'm not bitching about it, uh, I'm not protesting about it, but uh, it's just inter it's interesting that, uh, like, I watched when I was a kid, uh, Amos and Andy, I thought it was a, a great, well, they were on the radio, you know, before. Uh, then when television came along, they moved, you know, Amos and Andy to television. And I watched it, and I didn't think anything racist. I didn't, uh, you know, I didn't think, oh, that's how black people, I would have said colored, you know. Oh, that's how colored people are, or whatever. It was just uh, a comedy show, and it was, you know, it was funny, and they were good characters, or whatever. Oh my God! <laughs> now, that, and I'm not sure at what point those things used to be rerun, but at some point, <laughs> you know, stop. Uh, the R gang uh, comedies, or whatever. Uh, they integrated black and white children together in the, and I'm sure there were complaints from. You know, maybe the South or something or other about about that. But uh, Hal Roach, I believe it was, uh, they were put in. Now, when you if you see those shows, there's oh wow, I mean a lot of it. But it's it's was cute fun. But that would have some of the stuff that was said, you know, by the you know black characters in it or whatever. Definitely would have fit in with somebody would be able to say, yeah, that's you know, that's how those colored people are. But it was, uh, I think the I think the kids were paid equally and they were treated, you know, well, and uh, whatever. But now it's uh, all that stuff would be well, not all of it, but it'd be really <laughs> oh, the howls of complaints that would go up about it. But what I've wondered about with the TV show, well, it was, 
I don't think it was a TV show. I think it was clips made for maybe for theaters or whatever. Three tons of fun. They were three men over 300 pounds and I didn't find it funny. I didn't find the thing funny at all. Not because of anything. I wasn't sitting there going, oh, you should not make fun of, you know, fat people. Well, you can't call them fat. Well, I guess, you know, hey. Uh, but, not for, but I just didn't find it. I just didn't find it funny. Uh, but I was wondering about it, and I did a check. Okay, here is a uh, call the Tons of Fun, and this is looks like I'm not going to play it for you. I'll put a link to it so you can see uh, what it was like uh, here. But uh, they were, let's see, here's somebody who says, used to see this on television after school in the early 1950s. Seems to me like that I remember watching it. Well. I think we watched it more. There was a need for material. So I seemed to like, seemed like to me that I saw it like on Sundays. But it might have been uh, after school or something too. Um, and the reason I didn't find it funny was it was just they were three big guys. And I think the entire comedy thing was them bumping into each other, trying to go through doors and just uh, stuff like that. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe there was, you know, and I like I, I didn't if there was some other choice of something to watch, I would uh, I'd watch it. So I'll put a link to this. Now I did a search. Here is something on, I think, black entertainment television or something like that. And it's uh, three tons of fun performs. Hold on. I'm coming. And it's three. These three women or whatever. I suspect that they. uh uh, knew of that name, did a search or something, and kind of using that as a, and I, I don't think it's going to work, you know, I don't think it's going to get them, <laughs> people my age are dying out, how many people are doing a search for three ton, I'm not even going to put a link to this, you know. Um, here is uh, Wikipedia, a ton of fun, also called Tons of Fun was a comedy team who appeared in a series of slapstick silent short films for FBO from 1925 to 1927. By the way, I was born in 1941. was not alive in, you know. The three heavy actors, uh, it names them, Frank Fatty Alexander, Hillard Fat Carr, and Kiwi Ross, for each over 300 pounds. Carr was also billed as Fatty Carr. Their first film together was Tailoring in 1925. The last A Ton of Fun film was A Joyful Day in 1928. It says here, which I didn't know, I used to watch Howdy Doody. Uh, it's Howdy Doody time, time to start the show, and I really like Princess, summer, fall, winter, spring. Anyway, uh, excerpts from the movie were shown on Howdy Doody in the early 1950s, credited as the Tons of Fun. So, um, here's a link. I'll put a link to this to Frank Alexander, who was born in 1879 and died. September 8th of 1937 at age 58. Well, naturally, I mean, you know, with that weight, he only made it to 1958. Uh, tells where he's buried. Hollywood Forever Cemetery. Um, I'll put a link to this. And here is a picture of, okay, so I think this is the only, okay, well, they don't give much information, do they, on this. 
anyway if you're interested you can do so that's it I'll put some links to this and what usually happens is uh, when I put the video up then some other information comes about and then I'll update the uh, information underneath it but anyway so I found this is the first time I've actually I think I've done I think some searching in the past I never found uh, any information about them so I didn't remember and still don't remember them little clips appearing on uh, it's howdy doody time time to start the show Clarabelle the clown anyway um, so now that I have you here I have uh, coming today a uh, some paper mate gel pens because I first ordered these and they're on the way they're coming today also some uniball gel pens the reason I ordered that is because I ordered a notebook to write stuff down in and keep on the desk here and I have this one is starting to kind of fall apart so I wanted a better one so I've got this got five stars and uh, got this coming and they recommend the gel pens and uh, I um, I'll put a link to this by the way I ordered the gel pens and I ordered these and the reason I ordered these was because I'll probably be writing in this book in black but this pack here of gel pens has different colors but there are uh, four I believe black pens and I figured I'd be using black pens so I did a search after and then I found that uh, people really recommended the uh, paper mate ink joy gel pens so I ordered three of those just to uh, just to be sure um, So that's uh, that's coming today, later today. I received this today. I have always loved uh, Venus fly traps, and uh, here, you know, and they have always died immediately. Until the other day. Um, Walmart would have well other places before Walmart were in but over the years I bought you know like I'd, I'd go to a Walmart and they'd have a little table set up I guess maybe they were purchased from some other country or something and they you know were set up and they got them in and they weren't expensive but I would buy one and it would die immediately never had any success um, but just loved them and the idea of them but the other day I got one in the mail or yeah one was sent to me the other day and I uh, I don't remember ordering it I think what happened back when I got my 29 gallon uh, tank set up aquarium tank I was on uh, eBay and uh, ordering some plants and they were cheap you know and I ordered from different eBay sellers and then I think what happens is I ran across a uh, Venus fly, uh, Venus fly trap uh, plant and I must have ordered one and the guy must not have had them in stock and months must have gone by and then he must have got them grown up or whatever and I just got one and it uh, our mailbox is not on our apartment it's we live in an apartment complex and they're down by the office outside and we had some really cold weather a few days ago and we did not check the mail until the next day so it was in the mailbox in a little you know box I could show it to you over there except you don't want to see it because it's dead uh, but 
So it was there in freezing weather for 24 hours or whatever. But when I got it, opened it up, oh, it was the best one I'd ever seen. It was perfect, I think because it was frozen. And uh, so I put it, you know, and uh, in a container and uh, added some distilled water or whatever. Anyway, when I took it out of the wrapping and everything, it was perfect, the best one, you know. The pods, some of them were open and a whole bit. Great. Of course, I knew it was been frozen. And so, like, the next day, it looked great, and then the next day, but it wasn't totally dead. And uh, so I ordered, uh, nope, that's not it, that's not it. I ordered some, which I've never done before, I ordered some soil for it, special soil for it. And it came today, but the plant, I'm still going to plant it. it. You know, there might be some light little green down at the bottom, and I'll still put it in uh, some, see what happens. But uh, it came in really great shape. And if we had known it was coming and had got it out of the mailbox, I think it would have, that probably died anyway, because I've never had any luck with them, but I'm just fascinated by them. If I had the room, there's a whole series of uh, carnivorous plants of different kinds. Let's see if they show any. Let's see if this is, yeah, I think this is three different kinds. But there are more than that, yeah. A pincher plant and those that go inside, so. This is the one that I, you know, got in, and this is about how it looked, except mine actually looked better, except it was frozen. And, uh, but, uh, if, you know, if I, if I had the room, if I had the, I'd have a, like a greenhouse, uh, and I would grow things like that out there, but I'd grow other stuff too, you know, but anyway, that's something that's always fascinated me. Anyway, I, um. Uh, Oh, wait a minute, I want to go up here. Orders. So I, by the way, I ordered this. Well, like I told you, because my notebook, I'm, I'm going to have a note, I have a, well, I have two notebooks, little tiny ones. This one is, the cover came off, and some of the pages are ripped. I, well, I shouldn't show that to you, should I? Uh, some of the pages are ripped. So going to replace that with this notebook. <clears throat> After I ordered this, I discovered, uh, I was like, wow. For, and it's only like $23. I think there was one was $37. Now that's, I think. But now there's one that I see that is $23. Okay, it is a notebook. You can write on it, and you can draw on the notebook. And when you purchase it, you get an app for your cell phone. And then you can draw or whatever, and then you can just scan it or take it. I don't think you scan it. Show the page. And then well, at the bottom of the, okay, I think they'll show that here. Oh, no, they won't show it here because it doesn't do that. Well, they sort of, you know. But anyway, um, I'll put the link to the, other, to the other one. I should have looked it up. But across the bottom, you can decide, and if you put an X in the thing, so if you put an X in what, you know, you decide, you know, and with the app that you have, so it could be like the Google Docs or Google, and then you could have it to a certain, you know, save, uh, cat, you know, YouTube category or whatever, you know, categories and everything. And, but it's not just YouTube or not just uh, Google. It's... Uh, the others that I all I'm also signed up, you know. Uh, never know where this stuff is going, but anyway, you you do some stuff and it goes there. But okay, here's the neat thing. Get ready for this. Say you fill the book up. You don't have to fill the book. You do one page if you wanted to. But say you fill the book up, and then what you do is you take it and you put it in a microwave, 
and microwave it. I don't, I don't know. They, I'm sure they tell you a minute, minute and a half or something. And then the pages are blank. Uh, and then you, then you start over. I mean, you know, wow, <laughs> that's that's pretty neat. One of the things is neat is you can send the stuff, and that it would be drawings and everything else. Uh, sort of like having an iPad or something and whatever. So anyway, I have this uh, note for coming today. So let's see. Oh, yeah, something else that I wanted to, that's it, yeah. Remember, I've been asking you to please, um, when you're going to order something or you want to look around on Amazon, please go to my link because then if you go there and even if you don't buy something that, you know, for the link, if you go there and then you, you're still there and you go <coughs> purchase a computer or a big screen TV or a Venus flight trap or whatever, I will get a commission. And uh, so one of the things that I did was in the past recently, and I've been telling you about is I set up uh, Jim Howard dot me so I'd make it easier for you and uh, it goes there now once you're there you know you can click on some of these things and you know but you don't have to you can just go search whatever you want to search for if you purchase it I get a commission but one of the things that uh, I mentioned in the a previous video not long ago was uh, that it was okay to do, you know, Jim How H T T P S. Well, it was okay to do that. H T T P, you know, Jim Howard dot me. Of course, all you need to do in the thing is actually top, you know, do Jim Howard dot me. But I went. I thought some of you might be concerned because there was the no S for the security, uh, you know, function or whatever. So I went ahead and uh, set that up. So now you can do, if you'd have tried to do this before, if you had tried to do, of course you wouldn't have, you'd have just typed in Jim Howard. But if you had tried to do it before, uh, it would have come back, you know, couldn't find it because there was no S there but now I paid for it and uh, actually I don't think I did pay for it part of the I went ahead and set it up part of the ability you know, so. but anyway now if you do that it takes you there so it's supposed to be secure you know so please use the link by the way I think this next month for the first time in three or four months, I will be getting about $100 from YouTube because I make about $31 a month for every 28 days. And they only pay when it's $100. So I get a, into my bank, I get about $100 every three or four months. But uh, because some of you are starting to uh, use this link, the Amazon link. Um, this month, I'm not, this current month, I didn't receive anything because you have to receive, you have to have uh, $10 um, before Amazon pays you. And I didn't even make, let's see how much. Yeah. See, they owe me seven fifty-two that they didn't pay me this month because it wasn't ten dollars. Okay, this seven fifty-two, which they owe me, here when we kick into this next month and they when they update their thing, uh, I think I made about thirty-five or thirty-seven dollars this month in commission because some of you used my link. So that's going to be added to this, and next month I will get that towards the very end of the uh, the month. 
and uh, so I thank you for that. Um, I think that's um, I think that's it. Uh, I went to the casino with Hillary over in Oklahoma. We're in Fort Worth, Texas, and she has a car, and she drove me over there. And she gave me some money. Actually, my daughter gave me money to uh, to gamble with. And of course, I didn't win anything. <laughs> I, I'm cursed. Uh, but uh, oh, starting next month, uh, I will be getting my. Well, all of us will. Uh, new social security amount and uh, so but the way they do the social security thing I, and I've ran across I should have because some of you might have been interested I should have maybe I'll do that for those of you who are on social security here in the United States I'd often wondered because some people get their Social Security money on the 1st or the 3rd or the 15th or the whatever. And I get mine on the 4th Wednesday of each month. So, um, that's Alexa or Echo. We have well, and that was my ex-wife. Are you trying to shop for Echo? No. All right. Uh. Okay. So there's a way to mute that, which I guess I should. I should have a checkoff list of things to do. But anyway, um. What was I saying? Can't remember. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and I'll put the links below, and I will upload this to YouTube. I'll try to get around to working. I think you're going to find the other thing that I was talking about. I think you're going to, some of you, a, well, a lot more than are interested. <laughs> you know, I don't expect a lot of people to be looking for the the tons of fun. Uh, there's some old farts or whatever. that. But uh, this other thing I think a, a lot of you will find interesting. And uh, I'll work on that. And uh, I may, if, if especially if some of you uh, use my link, uh, I will maybe purchase that notebook that I said. I think it's only $23, where you can write and draw in it, and you can scan it with your cell phone. And it'll go to whatever kind of storage areas you use. And uh, then I'll show you the thing where you zap it. Or you put it in the microwave and it erases everything off of it. I mean, even the color stuff. So, because that's, and it's kind of amazing. I can't believe, you know, the stuff that I have seen. And, uh, my years here and what's going to happen you know in the next few years anyway thank you very much for watching nope that's not it that's it